everybody. John here at PT, Dan with Sandler Training, and our special guest, Lee Frank. How we doing? Lee! Hello. Lee! Welcome to the party, Lee. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. All right. To set the stage for everybody, Lee, can you tell everybody who you are, what you do? Absolutely. I work as a consultant for the PT Services Group, where I get to help them with much of their content creation, like their white papers, blogs, uh, the PT Bus Buzz podcast. And then generally, I'm kind of like the wizard behind the screen here, pulling the levers for uh, PT Ask Stan, our video Excellent. series. Great stuff. So we want to talk a little more on that marketing side. And that's why we asked Lee to join us today. So one thing that's unique about PT is we market pretty aggressively to previous clients. We have about a third of our new clients every year are returning clients, which we're kind of proud of, but I think is also unique in many business industries, if you will. But Lee, can you start us off, talk about marketing to previous clients, how and when it makes sense and what things to think about? Absolutely. Well, I think one of the things that struck me as we started talking about this topic was we've done a lot of writing and sort of content pieces about how, you know, first meetings and uh, prospecting is a lot like dating and it's a yeah. lot like that first date. I think this is one of those situations where it's not like that. I, I think, um, you know, at least for me, when it comes to dating, like that's scorched earth when it's done, let's put that in the back and leave it in the back. Yeah. But I don't think that should be the way when it comes to your your clients at all. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of times when for clients, your services make sense and other times they, they may not make sense or it might not be the right time for them. Um, one of the other things that I think is, is really good is keeping in touch with your clients about the best practices that you share. I mean, very similar to what you're doing here where you talk about the, the things that are working and aren't working. Um, I think that's very smart. And then the last thing is I think your clients are a great source of referrals. We talk about that a lot, about asking for referrals. And when your clients are happy with your service, keeping in touch with them, you never know where that's going to lead. For me, that's a wonderful source of um, new business is referrals that come from other people that I work with um, that are happy with what I've done for them. So. Yeah. Dan? Yeah. So I in Sandler, we teach an acronym called CARE, K-A-R-E. It is what marketing should be doing and sales. The K stands for keep. What are we doing to keep our current clients? Make sure that we hold on to them. A stands for acquire. That's the bringing in new business. What do we do to make that happen? R stands for re-engage. How mm -hmm. do we get those customers or clients that left the fold and how do we bring them back in? which is what we're talking about here. And then the E is expand. How do we take current accounts and do more business within those? And I think as long as marketing and sales are working on those four silos, your business will do fantastic. There we go. There we go. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye. Bye-bye.